Hello again and welcome back to Sophie's Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Marvel effect like that in Procreate. This can for example be used as a background or as a fill pattern for some text. I'll first explain to you how to create this background and then show you how to fill the text with it. First of all you start by creating a new document. After that you have to choose which colors you want to use for your Marvel effect. I chose a range of different green tones for this one. After that, you have to draw some lines with those colors on your canvas. I used a mono line brush to do that. The lines don't really have to be particularly beautiful or neat. It's just a way of adding the colors that you need later on. When you fill the whole canvas up with the different colors, you can go to the adjustments menu. Here you have to click on liquify. The tool you want to choose here is the twirl left or the twirl right. The direction does not really matter. The other settings can be chosen more flexible. You can play around with them to figure out what works best for you. For me it works best to have both the size and the pressure setting fixed on max and to vary the distortion and the momentum setting. When you now press somewhere at the canvas you see that the color stripes move around and change their size. You can keep the pen pressed down and move it around until you are happy with the result. If you don't like at all where this pattern is going, you can also simply tap on the screen with two fingers to undo or click on reset to start fresh again. You can also try to adjust the settings to see if it brings you closer to the desired result. Another setting that can give quite an interesting result is the adjust button. Here you can change the strength of the effect. This can result in pictures like that. Using this method of the left or right well, you can use whatever colors you want to create this marble effect. Each time you're doing it, it's going to look a little bit different as the twirl function has some random elements to it. As promised, I'm also going to show you how to create text with the marble effect filling. To do that, start by typing out the text that you want. Then you move the pattern layer on top of the text layer. After that, you adjust the pattern layer so that it is a clipping mask. As you can see, the text is now filled with the marble effect. You can either move around the text or the fitting to change the area of the marble which is visible in the text. If you have any further questions, just put them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.